एक्स्ट्रा टाइम विराट अजिंक्य है ऑस्ट्रेलिया नाउ यू आर बैक एंड यू आर द कैप्टन एंड यू विल बी वेरी हैप्पी टू टेक अ बैक सेट आई मीन just uh, just wanted to uh, ask how exactly it works between you and ajinkya as captain and vice captain because people say a lot of things from outside and you must have heard that but mm. uh, on the field and in the in the dressing room if you please can give us a bit how it works well yeah things are very different from um, the outside uh, compared to what happens inside the change room um, the fact that uh, jinx mentioned what he mentioned uh, is because not just between me and him but between the whole team the the camaraderie and the relationship is based on trust and very well knowing that all of us are working towards only one goal which is to make india win and um, i would like to mention that he fulfilled his responsibility in australia with flying colors and it was amazing to see how he led the team um, towards victory which has always been our goal between me and jinx uh, we've always enjoyed batting with each other it's quite evident on the field uh, we enjoy each other's company um and it's just a mutual respect uh, bonding um which is more than on the cricket field uh, we do chat off it as well uh, we stay in touch and um yeah it's just based on trust and um, hence jinx said what he said between me and him on the field he's always been someone who's always and always had the um capability and the space and the capacity to come and given in his inputs um, at different stages of the game and we do have discussions on the field as to where the game is heading i do go and um, discuss a lot of things with him uh, to get more clarity a different perspective uh, other than me uh, focusing on the team plans that's how we work together in the um, that is a, a massive massive reason for the success of the indian cricket team in the in the test format and uh, that that partnership that camaraderie will continue to uh, be the same as, as it has been and uh, the mindset for me for him for the whole team remains to take indian cricket forward and and lead um, the indian cricket team towards victories and um, it will continue in the same manner how we managed to uh, keep the confidence up or uh, you know uh, keep the faith of young players like kuldeep yadav who not been uh, able to get a chance to play for the last two years a test match you know they are, uh, they can easily feel disheartened but how have you managed to handle somebody like a, let's say a kuldeep yadav look um, you know it's 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 a delicate balance that you need to have uh, in terms of understanding what the team goals are at the same time communicating accordingly to individuals as to where their game stand what we are looking to do as a team what are the team's plans and where do they feature in the team's plans and uh, yeah someone like kuldeep has has not had uh, much of game time um, in the longest format uh, for a while now and that's um, i mean you can count two years but 2020 we literally played no cricket for so long so it's not actually that long a gap um new zealand the conditions were obviously not suited for playing um you know three spinners and um something that he understood as an individual but now that the home season starts um you know he will be in the scheme of things he will be um uh, in the team's plans but yeah you're right to to keep guys motivated you need to understand that you need to give them goals uh, there there's something or the other to work towards all the time when you're part of the indian cricket team uh and we are striving for excellence on a daily basis uh kuldeep is someone who's got a lot of skill he understands that uh there were uh, areas in his game that he had to work on which he's worked on beautifully in australia i see him fitter i see his bowling much more improved than it was before he's adding to his skill sets as well so yeah look it, it's about giving people goals and these guys are young so they understand that once you know the opportunity arises and they start capitalizing on these opportunities uh, at a consistent basis then the careers are very long and these are the people who are going to take indian cricket forward in the future years to come and it's very important we keep them uh, motivated uh, with the group uh, give them goals to take their game to the next level because in turn these are the people as i said who 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 are going to take the team forward in future my question uh, is about like uh, i guess you have had a look at the track and i'm not asking about the combination but give us a feel like what kind what's working on your mind looking at the pitch and the conditions like specifically these are with bowling combination well bowling combination obviously will try to give us uh, as many options as possible along with uh, you know uh, guys having the ability to contribute with the bat that's been the the uh, pattern for success for us uh, 
in home conditions over the last few years and that continues to be uh, the case this time around as well. Uh, the pitch is a normal Chepok uh, pitch. Quite a nice uh, batting track uh, with uh, spinners getting assistance uh, eventually in the game. But it, the track is good enough for the fast bowlers to stay in the game also. So it's generally a good cricketing wicket. Um, something that uh, we saw in the last series that we played against uh, England. The pitches were quite good uh, and they were good uh, for cricket overall. And you know, the, the matches um, were not won in, inside two days or three days. They went the, uh, the distance uh, most uh, of the times. And um, yeah, it was, it was a hard grind, but something that we as a team enjoy doing. Uh, and an example of which you saw in Australia recently as well. So, um, yeah, the, the combination that we have played in the past where uh, guys can bowl and bat as well is something that's going to be uh, at the forefront of our plans. Yeah, uh, Brad, uh, what did you make of uh, Rishabh Pant's impact in Australia? And also, like earlier, we have seen that the wicket-keeping slot has been rotated in India and overseas. Uh, could you give us a sense of will Rishabh be taking the gloves tomorrow and like uh, will he be a permanent fixture in the time to come? Yes, Rishabh will start. Uh, Rishabh will uh, take the gloves tomorrow and um, he's had impact performances in Australia recently and um, he's in a good space and we want him to build on this uh, along with you know him improving all aspects of his game which will happen with more game time and, and the more confidence he gains, uh, gains playing those games. Um, so yeah, th that's how we look at Rishabh. Uh, he's, he's come along very nicely after the IPL came to Australia. He wasn't a part of the, the white ball uh, formats, but uh, he kept uh, working hard on his fitness, on his game. Um, and he realized the importance of putting in that work and he got the results eventually, which all of us were very happy uh, to see. Because he's someone that we, we have uh, you know, backed quite a lot and for good reason, uh, because of what you saw in Australia, is something that he can do with the bat. Um, and that brings in a lot of value to this team. And um, um, he will continue to be backed because he's, he's an impact player. And along with his hard work, he can definitely be a very, very consistent match winner for India and some, someone that the opposition would definitely be wary of every time uh, they play against India. Uh, Virat, uh, can you just uh, give us some insight into the reason Akshar was picked ahead of Shabas? Shabas played the last home test against South Africa. Is it just uh, specific to his bowling that he brings in, in terms of the variety in bowling compared to Shabas? Or is it something to do with the batting aspect of it, uh, like, like replacement for Yeah, the, the reason was uh, basically to have uh, someone very similar to Jadeja's um, uh, skill sets or what they provide to the team, which Akshar brings in um, in all three departments of the game. So yeah, that was the reason behind uh, picking him because as I mentioned before, that falls um, directly into our plans. If you remember last time when Nadeem played, uh, Jadeja was playing as well. So that makes a difference and um, yeah, because Jaddu was not available, then Akshar was uh, uh, preferred um, because he brings in the same kind of disciplines on the field. Well, Virat, uh, you had a break, but how is the team coping with the bubble life? And uh, what's your pep talk to the players, you know, ahead of a, ahead of a big series, England? And uh, really, uh, you've won, of course, in Australia, but, but what's the pep talk you've given them? Well, look, there's there's no need of a pep talk uh, at at all stages throughout the season. Uh, I think the team is really in a good space. Everyone's really motivated to do well and continue the good work that uh, was was executed in Australia. Um, if you look at our journey in the last couple of years, apart from New Zealand, where uh, we're probably not into the contest at all in those two tests, I think as a test side, we've been playing really, really good cricket, uh, especially away from home. At home, we've been dominant uh, like we have been before, but away from home is, is something that we've taken a lot of pride in, in competing. And we've been in all the test matches that we played, right, starting from the England Tour to South Africa uh, to the last series in Australia and this time around as well. New Zealand being the only um, you know difference in that whole season for us. So the motivation is to keep continuing to do that work, keep continuing to put in the hard work, understand why we got the results and uh, not get too carried away by um, you know, the, the emotion of or the excitement of it all, which the guys understand beautifully. The, the chat on day one um, by the whole team themselves was to move on, um, focus on the next game, because international cricket is happening so quickly nowadays and there's game after game and series after series, which you need to reset, refocus and, and get into it straight away. And um, yeah, everyone's really keen to step onto the field again because everyone's playing well. The team's uh, gelling really well at the moment. There's, there's great energy in the, in the group and uh, something that we all are looking forward to be a part of starting tomorrow. 
Hi, uh, we are, uh, tomorrow, you know, Jaspreet Bumra is expected to make his home TV tests. Then on the other side, we have uh, cases like Jofra Archer, James Anderson, Stuart Broad. So how do you see this phase battle, you know, uh, on, a, on a spinning track, batting track uh, on Indian soil? Well, the last time around uh, when we played England at home, uh, we out bowled their paces, which was, um, if you ask me, the, the, the very beginning of, of uh, the dominance of this fast bowling group. Uh, obviously, Shami and Umesh are not there, but I think Jassi uh, is someone who will be very keen to, to start off uh, at uh, home in, in our own conditions as well, because he understands these pitches very well and his skill sets will be very, very handy on this pitch. Um, Along with uh, guys like Ishan, Siraj, all of them bowling so well. Uh, so, you know, it's exciting to, to know that you have so many options and um, people who are bowling really, really well at the top of their games. And um, something that as a captain, you're, you're very, very pleased um, to see. And very excited for them to um, start off uh, in this series very strongly against England tomorrow. Uh, Virat, uh, off late, uh, you haven't had the chance to play the same set of openers in three tests con consecutively. Uh, considering how good Rishabh and sorry, uh, uh, Shubman Gil and Rohit have performed in Australia last two tests, do you think this fight test provides you the opportunity to continue to give them a long row and see how they proceed? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I we are looking um, for we're looking forward for them to play all tests and give us good starts like they did in Australia. And something, uh, if you look at the test that we won, was was the reason behind us. Um, you know, being ve being in very strong positions because of the kind of starts we got. So that's in Test cricket. That's a very very important factor. And um, Rohit and Shubman both provided us with that. And um, we are looking forward to more of that uh, from them in this series to put us into strong positions. So yeah, we are definitely looking forward um, to good starts from them in um, all the Test matches that we play at home. Yeah, uh, hi Virat. Um, hi. Yeah, welcome back. I, I know that a lot of store is often put in the first test of a big series to get off to a good start, but we've seen that when you last lost a test series in India, England actually lost that first test and, and, and came back. And then we've just seen in Australia that you lost the first test and, and came back. So are you actually kind of wary of how England might progress through the series and that it's a, a kind of marathon, not a sprint? Yeah, but that doesn't mean we, we lose the first test at all. <laughs> we definitely, definitely play to, to win and, and start off on the right note. Um, probably, um, look, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say in 2012 there was complacency on, on our part. Um, I think it was England that played better cricket and came back strongly into the series. And similarly, the case with, with us in Australia recently as well. I don't think Australia let up as much as we were determined to come back into the series, which overpowered um, you know, their plans or their determination. So I think to win any cricket seed or test series in, in today's cricket, where it's so fast paced and, and things change so rapidly, it's important to stay ahead in the game. And once you move ahead in the series, that it's important to understand that you need to continue to do the good work and not take the foot off the pedal. We, we know that New Zealand has already qualified for the World Test Championship and it's very important for India to win at least two games to make it uh, to the World Test Championship Finals. Do you think that adds a little more pressure on the team? Not really. You know, in this Australia series, we didn't speak about um, um, winning because of the World Test Championship. I think it's a byproduct of you doing well as a team anyway. So there's no point adding extra pressure uh, as a team. Uh, for us, it, it remains a game of cricket one at a time one session at a time, one hour at a time, and, and that's how the success is achieved in the longest format of the game. Maybe in New Zealand we did discuss it a bit and that could have added extra pressure on us to do everything so precisely and you know, we, we ended up um, being under pressure a little bit. But from Australia onwards, it was all about uh, following a good process, preparing well, going out there and, and just under, understanding the situation and making sure that we play according to the situation. So, no point thinking about something that's still months away. It's important to stay in the present and, and take one session, as I said, one day at a time in a test match and, and move forward from there. That, you know, you had to come back, of course, for, uh, for um, Anushka's, you know, for your baby. But on the other side, you saw what was happening in Australia. Can you just take us through the emotions that you were feeling? Because, you know, on one side, you have this incredible moment, right, in your life. But then on the other side, you're missing um, a, an epic series, an epic moment in your professional life. 
Can you just take us through what was going on in your mind at that moment? Well, firstly, I don't think the two can be compared. Um, to me, um, becoming a father has been and will remain the greatest moment in my life, um, in both our lives. And that is something that uh, has to be experienced to understand what I'm saying. Um, secondly, the the connection to the team does not go away in, in any situation, especially when you have given everything for the team, um, especially the test side for the last six years, you know, on a daily basis, being motivated to take test cricket on top, take Indian cricket on top. And the, the whole group has put in so much effort and you're connected uh, invariably. And I was watching all the games even before, I mean, the, the Sydney test I clearly remember, uh, sorry, the last test I clearly remember that when Shardul and Washington were going through a partnership, I was, I was watching it on my phone, uh, you know, just before we had to go in when the, when the doctor called us. So that's, that's how connected you are to the team. Um, and that's how much you are looking forward to the guys doing well. And I was so happy and proud to see the whole team uh, come back in the series like, like we did. And everyone deserves all the credit for what they did in Australia. I won't even say what happened because it was purely out of determination, grit and belief that um, they achieved what, what they ended up achieving. And that is something that's going to remain in, in the hearts and minds of Indian cricket fans forever. Whether I was a part of it or not, to me, that doesn't matter as much as what it matters for the Indian cricket team and the whole country. So, um, yeah, I was very proud, very happy for all the boys. But I came back for, for a moment that, as I said, is and, and will be the most special in, in our lives uh, forever. Hello, Virat. I just wonder if you could... Uh, tell us a little bit about your thoughts on Jewel Root, uh, your opposite number uh, on the occasion of his 100th Test match, uh, and also whether you really subscribe to this idea of the Big Four uh, that we hear about, and, and after Sri Lanka, whether you think Jewel uh, is still in that Big Four. Uh, well, firstly, a, a, a big congratulations to Joe uh, playing 100 Tests is no um, uh, small achievement, and he, he, he can be very proud of of uh, being in this journey and, and still continuing to do so. He's got many years of cricket still left. So a, a huge congratulations on that. Uh, Joe, I have, I have um, you know, good memories of watching Joe come onto the, the international scene. Probably got off to um, a head start compared to all the other three in that, in that group of four that you mentioned. Um, and someone that, that has really you know, come out of, of England and, and become that face of England's batting uh, over the years. Um, and um, yeah, look, the talk of Big Four and all that, I think all that is created by the media. You understand that as international cricketers, you, you understand impact players when you see them and Joe has been one of them for a while now. And um, as opposition, you always try and, and you know, disrupt um, the, the opposition's batting plans and Joe is always, when we play England, is that vital um, wicket that we, we look to uh, get early on in the innings. Um, and that's um, a compliment to, to his game to the longevity, to consistency over so many years. He's got a great game, uh, understands situations really well and keen understanding of the game. We have spoken a, a bit more in the last uh, couple of series that we played than we have in the past. Um, and yeah, hopefully in the future we can sit down and have a nice long chat about how the journeys have gone on and you know playing against each other for so many years. But I'm happy for him. I'm, 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 I'm really uh, uh, pleased to see that he's, he's played 100 tests and uh, many more to come. So, big congratulations to him. Latest news and exclusive video from the update. Click on the YouTube channel. Bell icon click on the bell icon.